she's a great cook anyway before she even went home. So um, she just said, she just called and said, what would you think if I decided to come back to the band? And I, and I said, Chris, it's your band. Stevie Nicks is an American singer, songwriter, actress, film producer, and film director. She's well known for being a member of the supergroup Fleetwood Mac, as well as having her own highly successful solo career. Stevie's the only woman to have been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. In 1998, she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a Fleetwood Mac member, and in 2019, she was inducted as a solo artist. Rolling Stone magazine ranked her number 98 on its list of 100 greatest singers of all time. She's been ranked number 14 on VH1's 100 Greatest Women of Rock and Roll. These are those songs that were all supposed to be on records somewhere between 85 and, you know, 1990, really. And, and just for whatever my reasons were, I pulled them back. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Stephanie Lynn Nix, but is also known as Stevie and the reigning queen of rock and roll. She was born May 26, 1948 in Phoenix, Arizona, making her 73 at the time of this production. She stands at 5 feet 1 or 1.562 meters tall. Stevie Nicks star sign is Gemini, and she's known for her mystical visual style, symbolic lyrics, and distinctive voice. Stevie's also a huge fan of the HBO series Game of Thrones. Her favorite books include the Mabena Jion trilogy by Evangeline Walton, Wide Saragasso Sea by Jean Rice, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, Out of Africa by Karen Blixen, Complete Works of Oscar Wilde, The Twilight Series by Stephanie Meyer, Wheel of Fortune by Susan Hoach, and the Johns Hopkins Consumer Guide to Drugs. Her nickname Stevie came as a result of her pronouncing her name as TD when she was a toddler. Nix has started a charity foundation called Stevie Nix Band of Soldiers, which is used for the benefit of wounded military personnel. She's an ordained minister with the Universal Life Church and was the officiant at the wedding of singers John McCauley and Vanessa Carlton. It was rumored that she's a witch. She's known for making platform boots fashionable among the general public. She's close friends with Cheryl Crow and Chris Isaac. Nix has only been married once to Kim Anderson in 1983. Anderson was the widower of her friend Robin Anderson, who passed away from cancer shortly after giving birth and naming Nix the godmother of her child. People Nix has been romantically linked to include Lindsay Buckingham, Mick Fleetwood, Don Henley, J.D. Souther, Jimmy Iovine, and Joe Walsh. Nix has said that she consciously chose not to have children of her own due to her demanding career and desire to follow her art wherever it should take her. My mission maybe wasn't to be a mom and a wife. Maybe my particular mission was to write songs to make moms and wives feel better. These were, the reason I called it 24 Karat Gold is because they're like, the, these are the golden songs. Some of them didn't, some of them were recorded by Fleetwood Mac and I wasn't crazy about the arrangement, so I pulled them. She was born to Jess Nix, a corporate executive, and Barbara. She lived in an extended family and her music-loving grandfather taught her to sing and play the guitar. Her family moved a lot due to the nature of her father's job and she spent her childhood in Phoenix, El Paso, Salt Lake City, and Los Angeles. At age 16, Nix received a Goya guitar and began writing her own songs. While a student at Menlo Atherton High School in Atherton, California, Nix met Lindsay Buckingham, her future musical and romantic partner. Buckingham invited her to join his psychedelic rock band Fritz, and the band enjoyed minor success as the opening act for artists like Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin during the late 1960s. Both Nix and Buckingham attended San Jose State University, but eventually she dropped out of college to pursue her musical career full-time. After Fritz disbanded in 1972, Nix continued to work with Buckingham on new musical projects, and they managed to secure a record deal and release an album as a duo, Buckingham Nix. After working a series of odd jobs, the pair were contacted by drummer Mick Fleetwood, and they joined his band, Fleetwood Mac, in 1975. 
Their first album with the band was Fleetwood Mac in 1975. Their next album, Rumors, in 1977 was the best-selling album of the year and reported sales of over 40 million copies worldwide. Other albums she released with Fleetwood Mac include Tusk, Mirage, Tango in the Night, Behind the Mask, and Say You Will. Nix launched a solo career in 1981 with the album Belladonna. Her other solo albums include The Wild Heart, Rock a Little, The Other Side of the Mirror, Street Angel, Trouble in Shangri-La, In Your Dream, and 24 Karat Gold Songs from the Vault. In her entire career spanning more than five decades, she's appeared on several television shows, which include American Horror Stories, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, Late Show with David Letterman, American Idol, Saturday Night Live, and many more. On May 27, 2021, Stevie Nicks was one of the headliners of the 2021 Shaky Knees Music Festival in Atlanta, Georgia. In August 2021, Nicks canceled her five planned 2021 solo appearances due to concerns about catching COVID-19. Other artists have also canceled performances for the same reason. Mary, I'm, I really love the one um, that's just me and a piano that's, that's uh that's called Lady because it was the first piano song I ever wrote. She's mainly accumulated her net worth from her career in music. As the songwriter and composer, she's earned the lion's share of royalties for those works over the decades. In December 2020, she sold an 80% interest in these copyrights to music publisher Primary Wave for $80 million. In 1981, the album titled Belladonna was released, which earned more than $4.3 million. Then in 1983, Nicks earned $2.58 million from the album The Wild Heart. From the album called Rock a Little, released in 1985, Nicks made $1.25 million. And between the years 1989 and 1991, Stevie made nearly $2.75 million from the albums Time Space and The Other Side of the Mirror. In 2011, the album In Your Dreams was released. 500,000 copies of this album were sold, and Stevie earned $527,000 from this album. She has a net worth of $120 million. In 2005, Nix paid roughly $9 million for a gated home on 1.2 acres in the Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles. The house has four bedrooms and five bathrooms with over 7,000 square feet of space. She listed the home for sale in December 2017 for $14 million. She did not ultimately get a buyer for that price. She did eventually sell the home in an off-market deal, so the exact date and final price are not available. In 2004, she paid $3 million for an Ocean View penthouse condo in nearby Santa Monica. In 1981, Nix built a custom 8,000-square-foot mansion in Paradise Valley, Arizona, not far from where she was born and grew up. For many years, she shared the compound with her brother and his family. She sold the home in 2007 for $3 million. Stevie Nicks likely owns the following cars. An Austin 7, a Jaguar XK120 Roadster, a Ferrari, a BMW,
a Porsche Carrera.